All right, what's up everybody? Oz here. This is the double Moab gameplay on the map Fallen. Nice little throwback, right? MW3, we all miss this. But I gotta say, guys, when I was actually playing this game, this was from about a week ago during one of my play sessions. This was about the second or third game when I was on, and I got off immediately after um, the next Fallen game after this. Because, see, when I was playing MW3 when it was actually out, I didn't really notice it, but there's a lot of annoying crap in there. And, um... You know, when you play a game so much, you kind of get used to things. Like, you get used to the EMPs going off, the stealth bombers, all the camping. And you kind of adjust accordingly. But, man, like, if you take some time off from MW3, go play Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. And you come back to this, you just realize how much of a fail a lot of the things they tried to implement were. Support killstreaks, man, really frustrated me. Uh, I was going for... I, I was originally, instead of the double Moab, I was trying to go for, like, 100 or... You know, maybe 120 kill gameplay, which is actually pretty difficult. It wasn't easy for me to get 100 kill games on MW3. MW3 is actually one of the hardest games in all of the Call of Duties to get 100 plus. Um, it's just the, the nature of the game that because the thing is with the support streaks, they have that EMP at kill 18, and they can pretty much just knock all your shit out the sky, and it'll stay out of the sky for I believe it's I think it's 30 seconds. I'm not too sure. I'm not a I'm not a support spammer. I don't use the EMP too often. I did back in the day though, especially when you play like those try hard clans. You gotta have EMP on. Can't, I mean, you can't really blame people for running it. It's so, it's just so strong. But anyways, I tend to get off topic a lot in, in uh, these commentaries, guys. You gotta excuse me. I do these in one take. I I don't really like edit, editing them. I probably should. I should probably edit out and you know not say um and and make sure I think out my thoughts more clearly. But I just I just think it's better when everything is raw, uncut. And that's not what she said. <laughs> but I just think the commentaries are better raw and uncut when they, I just say what's on my mind and I don't uh, cherry pick my words. So that's probably the best way. As long as you can, you can speak clearly, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, like I was saying earlier, guys, the biggest thing with the EMPs and support streaks is that every time I would get close to my Overwatch or my Pavlo, then I would have to deal with the enemy's EMP because, I mean, those things were spammed out like crazy. I remember back in the heyday, like it didn't really... I didn't really notice it too much because I guess I got used to it. I got used to all the stealth bombers, but like I said, guys, when you go back on this game, man, you really notice a lot of the stuff that you had got used to, and it's pretty damn annoying. And you'll really start appreciating Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 did a lot of great things. There's things that I don't like about Black Ops 2. Maybe I'll do a commentary about that. How would you guys feel if I did a commentary and I talk about my perfect Call of Duty? If I could build my own Call of Duty and I can include my own features, um... How would you guys like to hear how I would design it? I think that might make for something interesting. So leave a comment and uh, drop a like on this video if you guys want me to uh, to commentate about that. I'll make sure I'll think that one through as well. I'll make sure I write it all out, right? None of this uh, off the top of my head stuff. So back on topic. I told you I'd get off topic, guys. <laughs> but uh, back on topic. 100 plus versus the double Moab. 100 plus is definitely a lot harder than the Moab. Specialist was so fun, but... You know, uh, I think I might, I might try, when I upload some gameplays, I think I might get away from the Moabs and I might just try to go for hundreds. I think that might be a little more, um, you know, entertaining, just seeing the enemies get raped. I might even start running a couple support parties in my streams, do like a throwback Thursday of MW3. So all you guys that have already converted from Black Ops and, and you guys are, you know, mw 3 it up, um, you guys can come play with me. If you guys want to help me out, we'll go drop some Moabs. Um, I'll try to go for some 100 pluses. I might need a little bit of help doing that get like 150 200 kills maybe if people will stay <laughs> you know we'll, we'll see how it goes and by the way right here i called in that moab because there was just too many guys swarming i got a little scared and i actually wanted to wrap around the back here at a but i didn't want to get killed by somebody in the head glitch so i just made sure i called that in cleared everybody out and that just allowed me to push into the area that i wanted that's something that i didn't do enough of when i played this game a lot is i didn't when i was going for double and triple moabs i never ever um I never ever use my Moabs to clear out the to clear out the enemies, and uh, that just shows you how much I've grown as a player. I mean, Moabs on this game are a lot easier for me than they were before. Some of that has to do with none of the tryhards being on here. You know, usually the people that play this game right now um, are either still full parties that always play together, or they're just like weekend warriors who come to play, you know, some Call of Duty, and they they uh, don't like Black Ops 2 or they don't have Black Ops 2. So you end up getting a lot of weaker players nowadays. Uh, which is part of the reason why I got the double here. I mean, I'm not that great at Modern Warfare 3 anymore. I'm much better at Black Ops 2. I just don't know the spawns on this anymore. I mean, it just goes to show my Moab times. Like, my Moabs on this one were like three and a half minutes. 
a little under four minutes, something like that, which is pretty slow for me. Most of my Moabs on ground work were about two and a half, uh, two and a half to three, which is like a minute slower than my normal times against weaker players. So, you know, I don't know. Or it could just be my team suck. If you don't notice, the, my in, my uh, enemies, my teammates are not playing the objective whatsoever. And if you go back and play MW3, you notice that too. Nobody plays the objective. And that's kind of sad, um, considering nobody does. It's probably because you don't get rewarded for it. I mean, look at Black Ops 2. Everybody hops on the flag, right? Everybody wants to get that 200 points. And uh, that's something that Black Ops 2 did well, is they, they did a real good job rewarding people for playing the objective. So... Whenever you go into the games, people play the OBJ hard, man. And um, it really shows in MW3. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, the next Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 4, or whatever they decide to call it, Call of Duty Ghosts, whatever it may be, that they definitely have the same incentive for people to want to play the objective. It keeps people running around the map. It keeps people from camping. And it's just overall a good idea. Right here, I do get my second Moab. I call that bad boy in. We end up coming back, and we end up capping all three flags. So that was pretty good. Good thing I camp I camped at the end for that Moab and I didn't rush it because that's another thing too is people will spawn on top of you in this game. So I'll uh, probably do some more of this next week. I'll have some more gameplay for you guys. Be on the lookout for some Black Ops 2 live streams coming soon. Maybe, like I said before, um, I'll do a throwback live stream on MW3 depending what you guys want. Anyways, I'm out guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.